Hello all you wonderful, my name is Sabina and today it's time to update 50 shades of purple. It's a collaboration with the Fantastic Ladies on Facebook and this project is 50 products somehow connected to the color purple. I am very bare faced. I just put on some concealer to hide the worst of my dark undercircles. I've been home for a week with the boy because he is not allowed at daycare because of snivel. So let's jump into my things. And the first to update, as always, is. My nail polish remover and my nails can use a redo. This went from 71 grams to 64, so 7 gram, grams down. Not my best, but I haven't done the best with my nails either. Next up is two of my nail polishes. This is a Franken one. It's what I have on almost every single nail. And I'm starting to move my way down and I really enjoy it and somehow it stays on my nails longer than uh, normal. So something good come out of that. And I can't show any progress, but I have used this at least once. Then we have my lipstick from Oriflame, uh, which I frankened with a lip balm. This is what it's looking like, and I was this line last time. And I am down at this black, so not much progress. And I am forgetting to use this a lot. So we'll see how long that will stick around. Then we have oh, my book. Because this time I have started to use my other super matte from Oriflame. In mysterious purple. This is what it's looking like a dark purple. You can make it a bit sheer or darker depending on how much you put on. And when I marked it, I marked with a straight yellow line, but it's actually dipping a tiny bit. And there is a slight progress between here. So, some use out of that one. Then we have my Frosted Plum, also from Oriflame. And sometimes I use this as a lip balm at home. And I use it to franken with, so a little bit of use on that as well. Then we have my Karl Lagerfeld um, Models Company lip liner. And I have no name on it. Very light purple. And as well on this one, I forgot to mark it last month. So this might actually be three months, two or three months. Uh, but there is a tiny progress right there. So usually I put this on together with this dark purple uh, on the mornings. Then I use this during the day to hydrate my lips. So that was my lips. And let's go to my highlight I've been working on. Uh, I haven't touched my 
Aurora Glow kit lately because I'm working on some other shades that I'm using as highlights. But I have heat pan in my Ultra Strobe Cream from Revolution and this I hit on the 4th of October. So I hit my goal on this product and giving that a break actually. Then we have all my eyeshadows and the eyeshadow I'm working the most on is still this one but I took some from because this was in a pen like this and I repressed it in my Panda palette because I was going away for a weekend and wanted this shade with me and easy access so I so this was starting to come loose from the pan, so I repressed it in a round instead. So otherwise, not working on any other shadow so much. I do want to use this some, but used a little too much liquid, so it's still a bit too much liquidy, but Hopefully get some more use out of that one soon. And then my Isadora frankened, I frankened a little more with a pen that palette shadow. So this is where I work on a really nice shade. I really do enjoy this one. It's like a greyish shimmer, so that's a color I really enjoy. Then we have my eye pencils. And I am still working on the eye and lip one. It's getting smaller. And this, uh, let's see, this is my progress this month. Not much, I haven't used it much. So, it's taking some time. The good news is, I decided that this was finished, my second liquid eyeliner by Cien. So, well, the second for the year, but the first in this project. <laughs> I have two more to go, and I have already started on my second one, and the third one is still in the package. So, Depending on the looks I, or the mornings, I use, I rather put on a wing, so. Then we have hair. And I am using this Axe Styling Signature Classic look. And this has major use on it. I hit pan in it, and it went from 72 grams down to 64 but it's thin so it weighs a lot. I'm using it to define my curls because I have wavy curly hair. Uh, then we have my last dry shampoo and even though if I shake it sounds like there's still some in it this doesn't come out properly in my hair anymore, so I decided to finish this up and it was the 1st of October. So, one more product out. Even though some are small, it's still out of here. 
thank you for that one. Then we are coming to body care and we are going to start with this jumbo one. It's the Cyan body butter in honey melon and I had depotted some of it in this jar and it's done. So now I can wash this out and put that away for storage. And this had gone from 421 grams down to 413. So dry season is coming because it's starting to get really cold here in Sweden. And my body is gonna soak this up. Uh, then we have my last Uttercram Aloe Vera Body Lotion. I was up here last time and now I am down here. Even though there's a little stuck to the side right there. That's where I mainly is. So one to two months, depending on if I use this or this one on my body uh, when I shower and this went from 210 grams down to 155 so I'm really happy with that and this has not been open as long as the other one so this will probably be used up all the way, I probably will cut this open to get the last out of them there. So, during these six months, I have hit goal on two products and finish up seven products out of 50, and I haven't decluttered anything this year. Last year, Last project, it was the Fifty Shades of Pink, I finished 10, I decluttered 6 and I hit goal on 5 out of 52 products. But I put some extra in just because I decluttered a few. So I feel like I am in a good place. Because I know that this is going to be gone before this project ends. So that will be 8, 9, 10, and this is going to be gone before April. So that's 11 products that I know will be used up. I still have some uh, one product I still want to hit a goal on that I haven't started on yet quite. So we'll see if that happens. But I am happy with any progress right now because uh, fall time is usually when I make a little dip in my makeup usage. I'm gonna stop rambling and I hope you're doing okay and that you will tune in my next update.